What is going on guys? This is Sevi from SG and today we're gonna learn how to set up guest checkout for WooCommerce subscriptions. Now, whenever I'm helping a client set up WooCommerce subscriptions for their store, one of the most popular questions I receive is them asking about guest checkout. How is guest checkout gonna work? Will customers be able to use guest checkout um, and purchase a subscription? What about uh, after they purchase a subscription, how are they able to log into their account? I have great news for you guys. Um, there's no special codes um, or you know fairy dust they need to do, they need to be able to do to set this up. This can all be set up within the out of the box WooCommerce subscription settings in the back end. Um, so yeah, just listen to this tutorial and I'll walk you through step by step. But first, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, make sure to hit that subscribe button and all the links to the plugins can be found in the description box below. Before we get started, I think it's important that I just show you the big picture of what's going on with guest checkout for WooCommerce subscriptions. So as you can see, when the subscription order is created in WooCommerce, here's kind of the automations that are gonna be happening in the background. Um, the first one, the order confirmation, that will go to the admin, and then that will also go to the customer. So that admin will receive a notification that a new order or subscription order has been created and the customer will also receive this type of confirmation as well. And then the second and most importantly, um, the customer will also receive an email indicating that they have um, a new account and also indicate that um, you know their account password, um, their account username, how they can log into their account. Um, yeah. I just thought it was important to kind of just show you a diagram because I know one of the more popular questions we receive is how can they, how can a customer, if they check out as a guest with a subscription order, how are they able to log into their account post purchase? The first step is from your WooCommerce dashboard to go to WooCommerce and then down to settings right here and then click here. And then once you arrive at this page, you wanna go from the general tab right here, see how this general is toggled, to accounts and privacy, and then toggle this. Click accounts and privacy. And then from, from here, underneath guest checkout, you wanna make sure you enable, allow customers to place orders without an account. So this will ensure that users don't have to sign in or register before they can make a uh, purchase with, with a subscription in their cart. And then also um, you wanna make sure you enable this button right here. When creating an account, automatically generate an account username for the customer based on their name, surname, or email. And also you wanna make sure that um, you tick this box that says when creating an account, automatically generate an account password. So after you've configured the settings on accounts and privacy, you want to also navigate over to emails right here. And you don't want to necessarily edit anything on this page. All you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to, um, you're going to find the email title. So you want to find the new account email title. And you just want to make sure that this has a check mark, that it's enabled. And that's all you have to do for this step. Now in this next step, I just want to clarify um, you might be tempted to think that some of these settings can be turned on and off um, on like the subscriptions tab over here. Um, just know that like that's not the case. You don't need to change anything on the, on the subscriptions tab here. Um, and also you don't need to change anything um, you know in, the, in your subscription products in the back end of those to allow guest checkout. So I just wanted to uh, kind of reiterate that to you because I know it's tempting um, to go to the you know individual subscription, products to, to see if you can figure out how to enable or disable guest checkout or go to the subscription settings in the back end of the WooCommerce settings. So anyways, uh, the, the final step, the fourth step is um, to do like a test order to see it, to see how it all works. So what you want to do, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, one, of your one of your subscription products. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up an incognito window because you want to, whenever you do test orders, um, you want to make sure that you're not signed in as an admin, especially when you're doing test orders um, for guest checkout purposes. 
So it opened up its incognito mode and then go to uh, this page, but I'm in incognito mode, so I'm no longer signed in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add Charlie's Coffee, $10 a month, I'm gonna add this to my cart. And then I'm gonna go to view my cart. And then on the cart page, um, I'm gonna go to proceed to checkout. So on the checkout page, I'm not a returning customer, so I'm not gonna click here to log in. But you notice that it doesn't ask me anywhere that I need to sign in before I can, um, awesome, I'll put in my credit card information then, and I'll do 0121, and I'll click buy now. So it says, great, order receipt. And this is the email that I use, which is my personal email. So if I navigate to my email address, you're gonna see that I received two different emails. So you're gonna receive two emails. So the first email I received is, uh, you might order confirmation email. And I got that, as you can see, zero minutes ago. And it says, thank you for your order. And it provides the order details and, and the subscription details. So that's great. And then also I received a second email, um, which is you know zero minutes, one minute ago. And it says, uh, you know, my uh, account has been created. Um, and it provides me, you know, my username. It provides me how to, uh, the link to log in. And it also provides me, you know, my automatic password. So if I go ahead and click this link right here, so if I go ahead and click this link right here, um, it automatically logs me in and um, I can navigate to my subscriptions. As you can see, um, you know, my credit card that I used uh, for payment, you know, is all there. Um, my orders and subscriptions are there as well. And I can view them here. Again, you can find all the plugin links in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm trying to uh, make more videos in quarantine. So if you have any good ideas for some videos or need help with something on WooCommerce or WordPress, don't hesitate to leave a comment um, below as well with the suggestion of a new video.